www.citizenportal.ai. We live in a country rife with challenges. In fact, a recent poll found that more than half of Americans now predict the U.S. will likely cease to be a democracy in the future. We're getting torn apart by forces that seek to divide us. Everything from news media to social media is plagued with bias and intolerance for independent thinking and incivility. Civility is needed now more than ever. Civil engagement and civil discourse need a new, fertile ground where hundreds of millions of people can be citizens first and party members second. This requires informed citizens actively engaged and aware of what is happening, not just at the steps of the White House, but in their own backyard. I, Sheriff Mike Smith. I, Sheriff Mike Smith. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. That I will discharge my duties. That I will discharge my duties. Of my office. Of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Judge. Congratulations. Information is everywhere, but most of us don't know where to find it. You might be friendly with your city councilor and even say hi at the grocery store. But do you know what he or she said at the last city council meeting? You might have voted for certain legislators or senators, but do you know where they stand on issues you care about? You want to be involved in your children's education. But do you know what was discussed at the last school board meeting? Introducing CitizenPortal.ai The first AI-powered Citizen Portal with a powerful video search engine, easy clipping for saving and sharing. To help keep your family and friends informed. Simply highlight the transcription, make a clip, and share and gives our public education system the tools they need to uh, address the unique challenges that these students face. It really is just that easy. You can know every word spoken by each of your elected leaders on every issue you care about at the city, county, state, and federal levels of government. When was the last time you engaged civilly with your legislator or senator about issues that are important to you? What are the big issues facing our nation that you care about? Why it is that we ought to look at steps to protect religious freedom. It has been said, thriving democracies require a strong base of both trust and distrust of the government. When was the last time you attended a public meeting or voiced your opinion on an important issue? To govern effectively, Leaders need citizens to trust that they are honest and competent. To earn that trust, governments need to be open and accountable to citizens. I, Brandon Gordon. I, Brandon Gordon. I, Emily Powers Gardner. I, Karen Davidson. I, Robin Young. I, Jeff Gray. I, Jeff Gray. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. And that I will discharge. And that I will discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. No matter where you are, no matter what you are doing, information provides liberating power. We've seen attacks on our criminal justice system. And I can't tell you how happy I am today to see Jeff Gray sworn in as our county attorney and uh, to have him work as a team member with us in law enforcement as we work to keep this county safe. If we expect to be free, to make the best informed decisions, or to act out of knowledge rather than ignorance, then we must learn to use our new tools in new ways. Governments have discovered that new ideas coupled with new technologies are more powerful than bullets and bombs. Representative Stratton is a real leader on issues related to public lands, particularly those in the state of Utah. I feel very fortunate to have him here. This received bipartisan support in Utah's legislature, right? 
unanimous bipartisan. In your experience, uh, was this program too big of a challenge? And absolutely feasible, absolutely feasible with, with a surprisingly, even shockingly uh, de minimis cost to doing so. Thank you, Representative Shred. It's easy. One, sign up. Two, Choose keyword alerts to stay informed on what your elected officials are saying. Be informed. Get involved. Sign up at www.citizenportal.ai today.